you make a distinct difference between marketing and sales. Talk to us about uh, about your philosophy on that. Yeah, I mean, I think the easiest way to maybe even uh, back into that is is from the insurance side of things. You know, if you're an independent agent, you know, and you don't have a team, I, I was very clear and 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 with with people I trained and and my team and myself is that you know you're wearing two you are wearing two distinct hats. Like you are marketing or you are selling, and the everything is different about it. Like the verbiage is different. The the music you're listening to while you're you're executing on it is completely different. For me, if I'm quoting, selling, pounding the phones, like it's it's you know it's EDM music. It's like high energy. It's like you know I got to get I got to get amped up. Um, you know, you've got to wear your two different hats, and and it's really important to to separate those. Um, however, you need to do it. How I had to do it, I had to separate it on my calendar. I had to put two distinct different colors on my calendar. This is when I do marketing activities. These are the marketing activities I do, and these are the numbers I'm trying to hit for my marketing activities. So if somebody came and asked me a sales call or if somebody called me, you know, and it was a current client, you know, send a voicemail because I'm, I don't have my sales hat available oh, to me right now. you were your focus? Is that what you were doing there? Protecting my focus. It, it's too easy. Most people want to – skip the marketing, you know, or they want to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Like Ryan said, they don't want to say no to 99 things to say yes to the one thing that's going to make them money, or they're going to get bored with the one thing that's making them money. You know, you're getting 56 leads a month and you're bored and you're like, well, what should I do next? And it's like, maybe just nothing, maybe the same thing because it's working. Um, (laughs) But I was very specific, you know, marketing is the most important thing out there. Um, I would rather lose deals um, and keep marketing uh, because one deal. You know, if I can go call a new referral partner, that one extra call might turn into 50 deals, you know, this next year, let alone maybe 100, 200 deals over the next two or three years, mm-hmm. let alone they introduce me to an entire office to five other people. So I'm going to make those extra calls and I'll walk, you know, I'll walk a, a smaller deal or a harder to, to work with client. Um, so for me, the way I structured my day, it was mar- marketing first because, you know, if you don't make any sales in a day, but you market aggressively, um, you're going to feel really good about the day by noon and you know what no one else in your office is doing the same thing. So, so I'm very specific on, you know, I had a task, uh, a list and I think you guys have seen it. I think I shared it with you guys. I, I had a, you know, it was called a greatness tracker, you know, and I had two, one for marketing, one for sales, you know, and it was really easy make my 15 to 20 calls, you know, to these referral partners every day, you know, and Ryan, Ryan knows I, I, I was in there seven, seven thirty, you know, so get that done in two hours. You know, by nine thirty, I feel fantastic. in the office every morning, and all, ever, all the other producers wanted to complain about how Sean was always on the leaderboard, always producing. How does he do it? Business, yeah. like whining about, you know, oh, he must be doing something different. He's getting leads, and it wasn't, man. He was in at seven a.m. every morning, pounding the phone. 